First thing you will do is unwrap the LED light string. You'll run your fingers along the string to ensure there are no sharp edges on it. You can pull this off to the side now. Next, take the balloon and get it ready to put on the nozzle. First, we're going to stretch the balloon. This will help it settle into a round position after being filled. The balloon is very strong and will not rip by stretching it. Be sure to stretch in all directions. Next, we will put the balloon on the nozzle. Open the neck of the balloon like this and slide over the tip of the nozzle. Then you will hold tight to one side and wrap the excess over like so. This will create a seal to inflate the balloon. When your balloon looks like this, it's not full. Keep going. They're not mylar balloons and they will expand. Fill slowly. This will help with it not popping. The balloons may fill oblong and this is okay. Once you put the light strings on it and it settles, they'll show as round. Next, we're going to tie the balloon in a knot. Twist the balloon like this while holding the neck tight. Then tie the neck of the balloon in a knot. This seals the balloon so the helium will not leak out. Do not allow the stores to just seal with a ribbon around the neck of the balloon as this will allow the helium to leak out. This is how the knot should look. Next, you will attach the light string to the balloon. Grab the end of the light string like so. You will wrap it around the knot of the balloon. The string should be wrapped around the, wrap, around the knot twice. Next, we will follow the seam around the balloon with the lights. This will give us a straight line to follow all the way around the balloon. When we get back to the knot, we'll pull it tight like so and wrap two more times around the knot to make sure it stays nice and tight. Like that. Next, we're going to prepare the decal. For this part, I'll put tape on the table to hold the balloon in place. This is the decal. There's a clear transfer on the top to allow you to apply the decal correctly. Sometimes the paper backing can stick to the decal. If that happens, you can just peel from the other side of the decal like so. When peeling the decal, you want to pull like this, keeping the top and bottom very close to one another. If part of the decal continues to stick to the paper and is not on the transfer, you can put the transfer back down on the paper and press on the decal. This will help it stick to the transfer when you lift again. Next, we will apply the decal. When you apply the decal, gently apply it to the surface. You may need to lift in spots to get it flat. Remember, you're applying to a sphere, not a flat surface. If there are bubbles in the decal, you can smooth them out like this. Press harder on the inside or center of the decal outward to get the bubbles out of the decal. The balloons are very versatile, like a beach ball. They can take some pressing. Make sure you get it nice and flat. Next, we're going to pull off the transfer tape. You can pull from either side to start. Pull very slowly watching the decal on the transfer tape is being removed. If you pull too fast, it will rip the decal. If part of the decal does not stick, lay the transfer tape back down, like so, and press in that area. Then continue pulling. A good tip is to keep the transfer tape that has been pulled off close to the balloon, as you can see here. Remember, you always can lay the transfer tape back down and press on the decal to make sure it lays flat. If you have any additional questions or still need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. And here is what the completed product looks like.